Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this session of online teaching and learning of English language. I'm Kavita Sabrawal working as English mistress at Government Senior Secondary School for Boys, Raho in District SBS Nagar. Dear students, today we are going to learn a very important and interesting topic verbs please keep your notebooks and pens handy so let's get started dear students i know you love stories so i'm going to tell you a story Rina walks to a zoo. She sees some crazy things. A monkey swings in a tree. A lion roars in its cage. Three birds eat hungrily. A parrot sings loudly. Rina looks and listens all day long. Then she returns at home. She tells her brother all about her trip to the zoo here we come to the end of the story dear students on the screen you can see some underlined words i will read the story again please try to understand these words rina walks to a zoo she sees some crazy things a monkey swings in a tree a lion roars in its cage three birds eat hungrily a parrot sings loudly rina looks and listens all day long then she returns at home she tells her brother all about her trip to the zoo students the underlined words are walks sees swings roars eat sings looks listens returns tells all these words are action words dear students every day you perform so many actions you get up in the morning brush your teeth take bath exercise get ready drink milk eat meals play study spend time with your pet etc all these words which show some action are called verbs so verbs are the action words let us learn the definition of verbs verbs are words that show an action occurrence or state of being almost every sentence requires a verb it is a part of speech that usually describes an action the basic form of a verb is known as its infinitive the forms call love break and go are all infinitives dear students now you know the meaning of verb but the question which demands answer is how can we find verbs in sentences dear students please keep in mind that a main verb will usually come right after the subject a main verb will express actions emotions ideas or a state of being for example run love think play hope be and is students how can we identify the subject please remember that 
the subject of a sentence is the person place thing or idea that is doing or being something dear students we have verbs verbs all around there are endless action verbs used in the english language an action verb can express something that a person animal or even object can do to determine if a word is an action verb look at the sentence and ask yourself if the word shows something someone can do or something someone can be or feel if it is something they can do then it is an action verb if it is something they can be or feel it is a non action or stative verb here i have got a few examples of verbs for you the related pictures are also given to help you first chop vegetables rake the leaves surf the net hang the clothes sweep the floor water the plants make the bed dear students let's take some more examples the dog chases the cat the verb in this sentence is chases the old man bought a new robot the verb is bought rena packs her school bag the verb is packs he walks to school every day the verb is walks close the door the verb in this sentence is close the bird sings a cheerful song every morning the verb is sings the teacher reads a book to her students the verb is reads let's move to the next slide students i have got one activity for you it's called verb chain can you think of any other verbs go around the class and see how long can you make a verb chain before you run out of words dear students please try to do this activity later on with your friends i'm sure you will enjoy doing it dear students below are some of the things you can do they are all verbs you can walk you can sleep you can jump you can cry you can tell you can think you can go you can water the plants and you can talk all these action words are verbs the verb is the most important word in a sentence it tells us what is being done in the sentence for example rohan is eating the verb eating tells the reader what the subject of the sentence rohan is doing dear students i have got a very interesting exercise for you some words are given please try to sort into verbs and non verbs 
Dear students, please do it. The words are break, drive, buy, joy, blue, grass, feel, silky, village, joke, sat. Please complete it. Keep in mind that verb is an action word. Dear students, I know you can do it. It's very easy for you. Please do it. Sort the given words into verbs and non-verbs. The given words are break, drive, buy, joy, blue, grass, feel, silky, village, joke, sat. I hope you have completed. Let's move to the answers. Here we have the answers. Please check and tally your answers. Verbs Break Buy Drive Feel Talk Joke Non-verbs Grass Joy Blue Silky Village Sad I hope you have checked your answers. Let's move to the next slide. Dear students, let's practice more. Read the sentence on each slide and identify the verb. Rina is reading her storybook. Dear students, what is Rina doing? Rina is reading her storybook. So, in this sentence, the verb is reading. The mouse nibbled the cheese. In this sentence, the verb is nibbled. Here we have the next sentence. The fish swim in the sea. In this sentence, the word swim shows an action. So, the verb is swim. Dear students, here on the screen we have a picture of beautiful and happy children. Just like you. And the given sentence is Children are running to a park. What are children doing? They are running to a park. So here the verb is running. Now let us move to the next slide. Dear students, now I have got practice sheet number one for you. A list of words is given. Please identify the verbs and underline them. Please solve it students. The given words are thin, jump, teacher, blue, turtle, school, cow, sing, laugh, close, dad, play, swim, read, come, eat, write, song, open, fire, see, frog, angry, go, drive, Chop, make, horse, red, 
home. Please solve it. Please identify and underline verbs. Students, please recall from the content that we have just done and identify verbs. The given words are thin, jump, teacher, blue, turtle, school, cow, sink, laugh, close, dad, play, swim, read, come, eat, write, song, open, fire, see, frog, angry, go, drive, chop, make, horse, red, home. So students, I hope you have completed. You are really doing good. Let us move to the next slide and check our answers. Here we have the answers. Please check and tally. The underlined words are verbs. Jump, sing, laugh, close, play, swim, read, come, eat, write, open, see, go, drive, chop, make. Please check your spellings also. Dear students, all the underlined words are the verbs. These are the action words. Jump, sing, laugh, close, play, swim, read, come, eat, write, open, see, go, drive, chop, make. Please check your answers. Dear students, I hope you have completed. Let us move to the next slide. Here I have got the next practice sheet for you. The question is identify and underline the verbs in the given sentences. Please do it. The first sentence is the dog slept under the bed. Second, who is knocking on the door? Third, she ate the last cookie. Fourth, the car passed the house and stopped at the corner. Fifth, they will sing and dance in the show. Sixth, we met our friends at the movie theater. Seventh, she yelled when she hit her toe. Eighth, Aman writes short stories. Dear students, it's very easy exercise. Please underline the verbs in the given sentences. The dog slept under the bed. Who is knocking on the door? She ate the last cookie. The car passed the house and stopped at the corner. They will sing and dance in the show. We met our friends at the movie theater. She yelled when she hit her toe. Aman writes short stories. Dear students, I hope you have completed. 
Let us move forward and check the answers. Here are the answers. Please check. The dog slept under the bed. The verb is slept. Who is knocking on the door? The verb in the given sentence is knocking. She ate the last cookie. The verb is ate. The car passed the house and stopped at the corner. The verbs are passed, stopped. They will sing and dance in the show. Dear students, there are two verbs in this sentence. Sing, dance. We met our friends at the movie theater. The verb is met. She yelled when she hit her toe. The verb is yelled. Aman writes short stories. The verb is writes. I hope you have checked and completed. Let us move to the next slide. Students, now let's do practice sheet number three. The question is, fill in the blanks choosing the correct verbs from the help box. The first sentence is, I dash an apple every day. Second, let's dash for some ice cream. Third, we are still dash for Mina. Fourth, Tim dash letters to his cousin. Fifth, we dash to the playground after school. Sixth, the singer dash a sad song. The verbs given in the help box are waiting, try, eat, sang, went, wrote. Dear students, please choose the correct verb and fill in the blank. I dash an apple every day. Let's dash for some ice cream. We are still dash for Mina. Tim dash letters to his cousin. We dash to the playground after school. The singer dash a sad song. Please do it. Try to complete the sentences using appropriate verbs. Dear students, I know you can do it. You are really working hard today. I hope you have completed. Let us move to the next slide and check our answers. Please check your answers. First, I eat an apple every day. Second, let's try for some ice cream. Third, we are still waiting for Mina. Fourth, Tim wrote letters to his cousin. Fifth, we went to the playground after school. Sixth, the singer sang a sad song. Please check. I hope you have checked. Let us move to the next slide. Dear students, I have got home assignment for you. Please note it down. It is an easy and interesting exercise. And circle the verbs in each sentence below. First, 
Neha ran all the way home after school. Second, the cat jumped onto the fence. Third, Anu washed the grapes and shared them with her friends. Fourth, Gurmeet wrote a letter to his grandfather in Delhi. Fifth, Mr. Sethi drove the bus in the afternoon. So dear students, this is your home assignment. You have to encircle the verbs. Please do it in good handwriting. And students, now it's Time to wind up. Today we have learnt verbs. Verb is a part of speech that usually describes an action. Almost every sentence requires a verb. Today we have done a few practice exercises also. Dear students, I hope you enjoyed the session. See you soon in another session with a new topic. Till then, goodbye.